Homes are flooding in Arista County and first responders are closing more roads there as water levels are rising even more. Good evening, I'm Chris Costa. News Center's Sean Stackhouse is in Washburn tonight where some of the worst flooding is. And Sean, what's the situation there? Hey, Chris, though it's anything but ideal for Washburn residents, an ice jam along the Aroostook River has finally started flowing again, but that has left the river overflowing. As you can see, some of the ice jams have built up underneath this bridge that uh, the Aroostook River runs underneath. And I've been going through a lot of different towns, going through flood tracking in the county. I've been up through Caribou Island Falls, uh, just to name a few of them. But what we are seeing here, is actually leaving some stranded. It came back in uh, with a vengeance and we kind of lost it. It filled that basement up in about five minutes. Michael Ellerman was trying to help his neighbor stop his basement from flooding, but the water came too fast. Uh, this is the worst I've seen it. Water flowing down the Aroostook River in Washburn forced first responders to close multiple roads. Jennifer Farr couldn't stay away from nature's spectacle in the town she used to live in. The flooding of the homes, the land, and my biggest thing would be hitting the bridge. The bridge leading into Washburn runs over the Aroostook River. It could be forced to close if water levels continue to rise. People at the National Weather Service in Caribou say the total inches of rain are just one factor they monitor. You know, the f outlooks for the rainfall amount, but that's not really key. What key is how high is the rivers are going to get. And how high the river gets is what brings folks all across the area to line up and watch as the ice jam breaks and flows down the river. When the water gets this high, it means close communication for the NWS and Aroostook County uh, Emergency portable. Management. We got some folks trapped behind the water, um, so we've been paying a little closer attention to them. So anytime we're expecting, you know, one to two inches of rainfall, um, the rivers just don't have that capacity to hold it. So that's exactly what's going on right now. River levels rising causes ice to crash into the bridge on Castle Hill Road in Washburn. People like Ellerman are happy their homes are dry for now. Could be worse, my, could be flooded. I've got sump pumps and it's keeping up and you know, a lot of people got it worse than me. Now, just an idea of how high this river has already risen. If you just look over my shoulder here, you see that telephone pole? The water normally doesn't even come close to that. It's normally much further out and uh, where I'm standing, I'm right on the edge of the water, which is typically just grass and even a boat landing in the area. And in that story, you saw some images of roads that have been flooded. When I was talking with the folks at Aroostook uh, County Emergency Management, as well as at the National Weather Service, they stressed the most important thing if your road floods is to not drive over it. It's extremely dangerous, and they say that even two feet can leave a car floating. So make sure to stay dry, but also drive safe. For now, live in Washburn, I'm Sean Stackhouse. Chris, back to you.